Hello everyone, welcome to One Stop Mathematical Solutions. Uh, let us start the session with bounded set. So two things to be noted, one is bounded above and bounded below. Uh, let us take a set S which is a subset of R. We say it is bounded above if there exists a real number K such that x is less than or equal to k for all x in s so for example take a set uh, open interval 0 comma 1 and we know that all the element in s are less than some number here say 2 okay so every element of s is less than or equal to 2 so here our capital k is 2 and so s is bounded above this bound this capital k is called upper bound of the set s okay so similarly the set is said to be bounded below if we can find uh, let us say small k a real number such that x is greater than or equal to this small k for all x in s so for the same uh, open interval 0 comma 1 any number here like minus 1 or minus 2 any number here satisfies uh, this condition right so we can take small k as minus 1 or even 0 so all the elements in s are greater than or equal to minus 1 so this make it a lower bound okay so this set s is said to be bounded if it is both bounded below and bounded above okay so let us see some basic results on bounded sets so the first one is every finite set is bounded so let us take a finite set for example take 1 2 up to 50 okay this is a finite set finite numbers are there so to say it is bounded we need to show it has an upper bound and a lower bound right we can clearly see that any number that is greater than 50 will be an upper bound take 50 or 51 or anything anything other than that uh, sorry anything greater than that will be a upper bound similarly any number which is less than 1 will make a lower bound right so let it be 0 or 1 or minus 1 anything lower than that so since it has a lower bound and upper bound it is bounded um, but keep one thing in mind that uh, the bounds bounds means the lower bound and upper bounds need not be in the set okay see even one is a um, lower bound here and even 50 is upper bound here but for some set it need not be in the set like uh, so take this example 1 1 by 2 1 by 3 etc so this is like 0 here 1 here half 1 by 3 and it will go like this right so uh, okay we can have upper bound as 1 or any number greater than that but the lower bound can be 0 or any number less than that it cannot be one of the elements from the set okay so that's why I'm saying that bounds need not be in the set okay uh, what about the next result next one is each of the intervals like uh, closed a comma b close open a comma b closed a open b and open a close b all these are bounded so take any interval it can be open or uh, one side can be closed and one side is open so let this be a b okay so we can take even this number b or any number greater than that as a 
upper bound and this number a and any number less than that as a lower bound because for any element in f the numbers here will be greater than that and the numbers here will be less than that okay so the next result is for a bounded above set a set which is bounded above there exists infinite number of upper bounds so as i said in the previous case for a bounded above set there will be infinite number of upper bounds and as well as for the bounded below set there will be infinite number of lower bounds okay so next uh, uh, result is every subset of bounded set is bounded so if a is a bounded set and b is a subset of a then b is bound the next result is if a and b are bounded subset of r then the set a plus b is also bounded how do we define a plus b a plus b is a set of all x plus y such that x is in a and y is in b so if a and b are bounded then their sum is also bounded set okay thank you see you next time